still having a, a big core audience with, in your, on your homeland. That's always good. Yeah. Uh, there are two big festivals here. Uh, uh, this is one of them, of course. We have played both of them and we felt very welcome every time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh. Especially since we have a lot of traditional fairy stuff yes. that people know here, whereas in, every time we play abroad, people don't know it. They try to sing along the fairies, but they don't always succeed. Uh, and here, <laughs> but they it's try. very easy to, to you know, get to sing along with that. So that's a good feeling. You know? very real. I mean, the, the folk stuff they put in it is completely authentic and, and uh, it's, it's a very good, although heavy metal, representative of, of the culture, so that's very real. Uh, when it comes to some of the English uh, lyrics or, or the non-traditional uh, melodies that just sound traditional, it may be up to 50% <laughs> theatrical. Is the pagan thing more of an expression of culture than actual spiritual Absolutely. Thing? I'm an atheist and it's just a cultural interest. Okay. But is that the same for all of you guys? None of you have any spiritual interest in no. paganism? Absolutely not. I'm not yeah, superstitious yeah, yeah, in any way. Pussy, yes. <laughs> pagan pussy. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> How do you feel about um, other bands who go head on into that whole pagan thing? You find, do you find you regard that the same way you regard like Christians? No, not really, because I I haven't met with very many who, who believe it literally the, the pagan thing. But very few, and, and those who do are a bit more crazy than Christians. <laughs> there are, especially in Germany, there are many ridiculously. Bad bands there that they can't play music at all, and they call themselves pagan and uh, Viking metal or whatever, and they just sound like crap. And how do you feel about um, other artists that aren't metal, like that that lad, the blonde lass um, from the Pharaohs? Uh, I can't pronounce her name. Ivor. Ivor. Yeah. Is she uh, in she does like you. She sings some old Pharaohs folk yes, stuff. Yes. Yes, she does. Do you, do you enjoy her music or? No, and we, we to... enjoy, enjoy her. <laughs> yeah, of course, to some extent, yes. Yeah, I, I love I her. Already, I already enjoyed her, so that's fine. Seduce this girl. <laughs> how did you seduce the one? He does he just grab them and you know. Is that how, is that how, how you seduce the one? That's what he does. Ah, you take them and that's it. Forces them. Over the shoulder. Oh, yeah. If they, yeah. they don't slap them, it's a success. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. exactly. <laughs>
ones that means the most to you? Or maybe you have different ones, but is there anywhere? Shimanes. Scholar here. Shimanes. My mother's kitchen in Lampa. The, long, the <laughs> longest the longest fjord here is where I'm from, and that's just the most beautiful place in the world. Yeah, I, I like that fjord. I would say Saxon. Yeah. Saxon. What's, what's Saxon? It's a, it's a, 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 a village in the valley. Yeah.